This little boy with his foot in chalk, writing something on the floor. I wonder, my sister thought he was drawing a triangle, but the last stroke was in the wrong place. The father saw this and took the chalk, and drew a standard triangle beside him, but the boy tried hard to erase it. The mother suddenly realized that her son had not drawn a triangle. The boy nodded his head in excitement. He gets up and writes again. This time he writes a capital M followed by an O. After writing just two letters in a row, the boy was very tired. When his mother saw him, she burst into tears. Although she hadn't finished writing, but she knew that her son wanted to write about his mother. Exhausted. The boy collapsed on the floor. It was the first time he had ever produced a complete word. The father was so excited that he picked up his son and carried him to the bar. He said proudly to everyone, he's not a fool. My son is a genius. It turned out that the boy's name was Alan. Not only does he have congenital cerebral palsy, and he couldn't speak, he could only move one left foot. One day, Dallin suddenly heard his mother fall down the stairs. He struggled to reach the stairway, but he accidentally got his right foot stuck. Anxious, he kicked his right foot as hard as he could with his left foot. Then he slid down the stairs and kicked the door as hard as he could. A neighbor heard Alan banging on the door. That's how he saved his mother. Years later Alan grew up to be a handsome boy. He gradually learned to speak, although he only had one left foot, but he could use it to paint. Even though he was physically handicapped, he would go to football matches. Alan was a very responsible goalkeeper. He actually catches the ball with his head when the other team shoots. When someone comes and kicks him, he started to hit back with his teeth. And that's how Alan got the penalty kick, and he gets an endless stream of taunts from the opposition. The next thing you know, the ball is in. The next thing you know, it's in. It's a game of truth or dare. After spinning the bottle to a halt, whoever the bottle pointed at would get a kiss from the pretty girl. But to no one's surprise, the bottle ended up pointing at Alan. To the ridicule of her friends, Mary kissed Ellen in disgust. From then on, Alan's mind was filled with Mary. He even painted a picture of Mary with his own feet. Mary was so excited to receive the painting that she showed it to her friend. But the friend saw Alan's signature on the painting. As her friend laughed at her, Mary went to Alan's house in a rage and returned the painting to him. But little did she know that such a cripple. But little did she know that such a cripple would later be.